cosec theta minus cot theta whole square is equal to 1 minus cos theta upon 1 plus cos theta. Let us consider left hand side of this identity. It is cosec theta minus cot theta whole square. We know that cosec theta is equal to 1 upon sin theta. Cosec theta is reciprocal of sin theta. So, cosec theta can be written as 1 upon sin theta. Negative sign. Then cot theta. Cot theta is equal to cos theta upon sin theta. And then whole square. We can simplify it as sin theta as denominator and in numerator you will get 1 minus cos theta. So it is 1 minus cos theta upon sin theta whole square. Again you can write this as 1 minus cos theta whole square divided by sin theta whole square which is sin square theta. We know that sin square theta is 1 minus cos square theta. So using this identity here we will get numerator as it is 1 minus cos theta whole square and sin square theta is 1 minus cos square theta. Numerator as it is 1 minus cos theta whole square. Denominator can be written as 1 square minus cos square theta. It is nothing but 1 minus cos square theta because 1 square is 1 itself. Look at the denominator of this term. We see that x square minus y square can be written as x minus y whole multiplied by x plus y. We can use this identity here in the denominator where x stands for 1 and y stands for cos theta. So 1 square minus cos square theta can be written as 1 minus cos theta it is like x minus y and then 1 plus cos theta it is like x plus y. Numerator is as it is. It is 1 minus cos theta whole square. Now 1 minus cos theta raised to power 1 in the denominator and 1 minus cos theta whole square. So we can reduce one term. It will become 1 minus cos theta upon 1 plus cos theta.